Welcome back. I'm OG and I've built us something. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You will find out after the launch. Of course, I'm assuming that the launch goes well. Perhaps that's a silly thing to do. Oops, uh, not the best staging. Sorry about that. OG didn't check his staging again. This rocket has a terrible thrust to weight ratio. So don't expect too much from it. I will tell you this much. This isn't supposed to be a rocket. It is supposed to be a large aircraft. I built a large aircraft, but it had a problem. Uh, specifically the wing fell off the wing in which I had put the other craft which is hiding under that fairing it was just too heavy and I couldn't make it work so I built a rocket instead because it was easier okay so the rocket is cheating but don't worry about that oh dear Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Let's see if we can get control back. Can we? Can we? Can we? Oh, this is so Kerbal. I'm losing all my speed. Come on, go upwards. Oh, this is so typical. All right, I'm just gonna launch. I will reveal my secret. OG, what have you built? Is that the North American X-15? Why yes, good people, it is. I built the X-15. And isn't she a beauty? You have got to love the X-15. One of my favorite planes from history. After building the flying bedstead, I decided I wanted to build some more historical planes. She's not perfect, but this is as close as I could get to perfect with Kerbalesque parts. Unfortunately, she doesn't carry a lot of fuel, and obviously we haven't made it into space. So while we're up here drifting around, wondering what I'm going to do next and if I'm going to make it safely back down, let's talk about our, a bit about the X-15. She was built at the end of the 50s and operated during the 60s, as obviously, as the name suggests, one of the X-planes. The X-planes being experimental aircraft of the United States. She set speed and altitude flight records, the likes of which had never been seen before. And she was rocket powered. Initially she had two rockets, the same ones used for the Bell X-1. And then later on she got a single much more powerful rocket engine. Ironically, Neil Armstrong, who flew in the flying bedstead, featured in my recent video, also flew an X-15, two rather different aircraft. Uh, this was of course before he f joined the Apollo program, 
or even before he joined the Gemini program for that matter. As far as I know, the X-15 didn't try to kill him, like the flying bedstead did and like the Gemini capsule once did when he got into a spin, a really, really nasty spin. Sort of like the one my X-15 is in at the moment. Uh, he did get stuck in space in an X-15. The X-15 was designed to operate in the atmosphere, but it, it flew so high that the pilots could qualify for astronaut wings. And Neil once took it out of the atmosphere. Not the atmosphere has a well-defined boundary. There's no line where atmosphere is and isn't. But he was on such a, a trajectory so that when he tried to re-enter the atmosphere, he just kept bouncing off it. Sorry, this plane handles too terribly. It is really, really, really bad. And every time he tried to come down, he, he couldn't. Of course, he was never going to get stuck in space. That's not how space flight works. He did not have that kind of motion. But it... Uh, it delayed his re-entry nonetheless. The X-15 was a hypersonic aircraft and I can't actually think of any other aircraft that's manned that is hypersonic or has ever been hypersonic. This is the only one I know of. And that's up to today. So she was a, a Mach 5 category aircraft very fast very high still one of my favorite aircraft and today Bob is flying it now, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to land but that's okay because she's not great at landing anyway and I'll show you why I've tried to reproduce her landing gear she's got wheels at the front and skids at the back <laughs> that's about as good a landing as I could hope for you know the other day as I showed in my land speed record video I built a boat and it sank straight away I built an F X16 oh my word I'm messing this up X15 and it floats after it crashes so that's another one of my OG's historical series aircraft for you. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you again soon. From Bob, OG out. <laughs>